Okay, so this might be my first controversial video ever. So you're telling me that our ancient ancestors across the entire world built temples like these and incredibly detailed sculptures like these ones. And here in Australia, we have finger paintings at best. These were our caves. And this was the best sculptures we had. Pretty sure that's a gecko. G'day everybody and welcome back to the Gulag. My name is Ryan and here we tell true crime to come out of Australia. But in today's episode, we're going to be diving into the mysterious and still unknown carved temples that were claimed done by a hammer and bolster. And in comparison to what we have here in Australia. And once I dove into the research, things just did not add up. So let's get stuck into the story. Here in Australia, since you're able to read and write, at school they teach you all about Australian history and how Captain Cook came from Great Britain and settled here in the 17th century. There were some conflicting issues at the beginning that we're still dealing with to today, but it's safe to say that Australian history and culture is very honest. With ancient landmarks all over Australia from our Aborigine ancestors like Devil's Marbles, Uluru Ayers Rock, the Babinda Boulders in North Queensland, and it's all etched into history by cave paintings and wooden and rock carvings. Now you'll generally see this in every single culture. But one thing I've noticed about Australian culture is how come we didn't have any of these massive temples or places of worship? It seems like Australian culture was actually created by humans. And we're about to take a look at two separate temples in India. And let me tell you, there are no way that these temples were created by human beings. So today we're going to be going over two temple guys that are located in India that have scientists and archaeologists baffled to today's day. Now the citizens of India do believe that these temples were crafted by the gods themselves and it's safe to say that scientists and archaeologists with all their numbers and their predictions that they come up with there's just no way by analyzing a little chunk of rock under a microscope with your university degree that you're telling me that human beings made this when bricklayers today can't even get our windowsill straight. So starting with the Kai Lash Temple, located in India in the city of Valu. Now archaeologists say that this was built in the 7th century and it only took them 18 years to construct. But the most mind-blowing thing about this particular temple, that it's actually etched into a cliff face out of one single piece of rock. And the part that baffles my mind even more, it was actually proven that it was carved from the top down. Now, I don't know what type of math genius would have had to come up with the planning of that, but there is just no way a human being that is making pots out of dry mud, i.e. clay, could create such a massive structure that is still standing to today's day. Now just take a look at some of these pillars and the people walking around in the footage. And let me tell you, footage does not do this site justice. Take a look at this. Okay, so as you can see in the video, there is extreme detail and not one fraction of error that is etched into each of the faces in the side of the rock. And there are over hundreds of them. Now, if you ask any artist or any sculpture artist, what is the hardest thing to paint or sculpt? They will tell you it's the eyes. The eyes never lie. And it's really hard to get eyes to be symmetrical even when drawing a set of eyes. Now, each set of eyes, upon closer inspection with laser scanning technology, they found out that the eyes are symmetrical by the eighth of a mil. Yes, you heard correctly, the eighth of a mil. Now, just take a look at this clip, which shows our laser technology that etches out into a rock today. Check it out.
Now, even with that machinery there, we cannot achieve an eighth of a mil in accuracy. And that, that's not even all of the unanswered questions. Another unanswered question with this particular temple is that it was estimated that 400 tons of excavated rock would have needed to be somewhere in the location. As for 18 years, apparently they just dug this thing out of a cliff, but there is no sign of the excavated rock. But still, we got to listen to some scholar that went to university that has no idea what he's talking about, talking out of his hole about how he came up with these equations looking at a chunk of rock under a microscope. Or was it something more powerful or more ancient technology that we have no idea about? Now let's get stuck into temple number two. Now forgive me if I butcher the name of this temple. I believe it's called the Chenakshava Temple, located in Balu, India. Now this temple was built in the year 1117 CE, where they believe it was built in 103 years. Now there are over 50 of these particular temples in this area. This one is particularly one of the most detailed ones. And just take a look at the footage before we get stuck into some of the unanswered questions about these insanely godlike temples. Check this out. So as you can see, this temple is also incredibly detailed. And there are hundreds of them all over the world. In New Mexico, we have the Aztecs temples, we have the Mayan temples. I mean, just look at the technology in this Mayan temple with the acoustics of sound. Check this out. Touches the steps according to the speed of the sound, that frequency. It will travel in the chamber. Yeah. But when it comes out, it will be equal to the song of a bird. Holy shit. <laughs> and we still don't know how to do that or how they did that. I wish that we have. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's shocking. And the sound of the temple and the bird, it's already in computers and sonograms to check the frequencies and the two of them, they're here. Now that is astonishing, but you're telling me that someone that could barely make plates and pots out of dry mud created this incredible structure over a hundred meters tall that could make the sound of a chirping bird every time the crowd applauded whoever was on the top? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're being lied to. But it still leaves me as an Australian here with the question, why don't we have anything like that here in Australia? Why were our ancestors still banging sticks together while these guys created these absolutely monolithical cathedrals and temples? And here us Aussies are living in caves, huddling around a fire. Anyway guys, drop a comment below, tell me what your thoughts are. If you enjoy content like this, let me know in the comments below as I'll cover more of the world's mysteries and unanswered questions that we have here in Australian history. All right, thank you for watching. Gulag out.